I used to do poorly on my math exams. However, after I changed my method of studying, I immediately became the highest scorer in my entire school to the point of getting IB45 and even becoming a math Olympian. And today I'll be exposing four secrets to help you replicate my life path and make sure to stay tuned as the last secret will help you consistently perform on your exams. Let's go. So the first secret uncovers the method of studying. But let me first tell you a story. In days of old, my method of studying used to only consist of reading the math concepts and techniques required and reading the teacher's responses to each question, but never really attempting to do any questions myself. So when a test came, I couldn't complete a single question as the concepts and techniques covered in class were never enough to prepare me for the actual test. So now let me teach you the only way to study math that guarantees full marks, and that is doing practice questions such as past papers, past school tests, and unit extracted past paper questions. It not only deepens your understanding on the concepts and techniques, but also exposes you to a wider variety of math questions, which will bridge the gap between the previously unsolvable and the now solvable. In other words, optimizing your chances of seeing similar questions on the test and being able to solve those. There is literally a direct correlation with marks gained and practice questions completed. If you do not do practice questions, you're literally putting yourself at a disadvantage by limiting the range of questions you're able to solve compared to your competition. But at the same time, by doing more questions, you have a competitive advantage over your peers. Which is why during the two years of the IB, I used over 200 notebooks for math alone and completed over 40 past papers for the final IB exam alone. Now, when doing past papers, it is crucial to make a chart like this with name on the first column, the link to the questions on the second, the link to the mark scheme on the third, and the last indicating the challenging questions you couldn't complete. So that you can quickly read through the questions you previously couldn't solve before the exam, and now understand how to solve them in case it shows up. But now somebody say, Melvin, I'm doing this already, but I'm still doing poorly on my exams. And the answer to that is simply doing more questions. You are currently not doing enough, which is why you're still unable to solve some questions on your exam. Which leads us to our next secret, self-hypnosis. If you're currently struggling with focus or motivation, you simply need to self-hypnotize yourself to want to study. I used to hate CS. Didn't understand a single thing from grade seven to grade nine. However, in grade 10, I realized that CS was one of the best professions. Therefore, I started self-hypnotizing myself to like CS. I started telling everyone around me that I loved CS, despite not actually liking it at all. Any free time I got, I would go into building projects, even signing up for programming workshops and competitions. I started obsessing over something I didn't like. And in a long enough time frame of doing it, I started to become good and I started to enjoy doing it. The same goes for studying. It's all self-hypnosis. Anything you say and do in a long enough time frame, it will become reality. So if you currently don't enjoy studying math, maybe because it's useless and you don't see a future with you using math at all, still obsess over it, talk about it, and do it when you have free time. Now, some may also say, Melvin, I do actually study a lot, but I seem to have reached a point where I'm stuck in a grade and can't seem to increase any higher. Which brings us to a third secret, which is becoming hyper analytical. Every time you finish an exam, analyze and understand what you did wrong so you don't make the same mistake again. However, if you don't know why you got marks deducted, Go ask your teacher immediately. Don't leave the classroom until you fully understand why you got marks deducted. Now, before we get to the last secret, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you've gotten value so far, and now here it is. Now, a lot of you, including me, has experienced this before. During our exams, we start to feel stressed, anxious, or nervous, and our heartbeat starts to beat faster, our brain stops working, and before we know it, we start making careless mistakes. This is very common, but also very dangerous to our performance. Now, what I usually do during these scenarios would be to drop everything I'm holding onto the table, sit back, put my hands together like this, and take some deep breaths for five to 10 seconds. This always works in calming me down, helps me de-stress, and helps keep my mind sharp for the exam, helping me increase my performance and effectiveness. I did this on almost all of my IB exams, and without it, I probably would have made a lot of careless mistakes. Anyways, that's the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because I'll be uploading many more videos in the future, and you definitely do not want to miss out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.